Alright guys, Shopify here. Welcome to another tutorial in my GD script series. So we're going to talk about classes today. And to define a class, we go to, let's first do new script. Let's call this mat, for example, or let's call it uh, test mat. Now in the test mat class, we're actually extending the node class. So we're not going to use that. So let's delete all of it. And let's add a function. So func add, for example, put n1 and n2, number one and number two. And we could just return n1 plus n2. Put save here. And now to access a class, come back here in the node. All we have to do now is create a variable var and call this map equals load. And we could load test map class and then say new so this creates a new class and we could now use it here and say print mat add 10 plus 20. let's fix that real quick save let's turn these on there you go there you go 30. so this works as it is but if you want to have your if you don't want to use a path you could come back in a mat class and up top you can just define a class name so you use a keyword class name class name and let's call it test mat same as before and you can save and go back here instead of doing all of this just say test mat dot new and that works the same here and again you go 30 and then to even go further instead of making this function needing to be instance you could use static so we have a static function here and this will give an error or not actually so now we don't have to call new one here and this should work just the same or we could use it directly so go back here turn that get rid of this there you go now to define inner classes all you have to do is use the class keyword so class let's just use mat again so test mat or let's just use new test mat then we could use we could put the add here so we could say func all right so now we can Say var new test map or let's call it mat again and new test map dot new then we could say print add the 70 so 100 there you go now whenever you call a new keyword we're actually calling init init is a built-in um function it's kind of like a constructor so for example let's go back here let's clear this up put it ready here for now or pass me so in a in a class you call func dot underscore init this function actually initializes whenever you create a new class new instance of the class so for example let's set var string example and set it to be nothing and in the init function we can actually add our own variable variables here parameters let's say new string and we could set it to be nothing by default and here we can say string equals new string and then whenever we create it again so let's say var uh, mat equals new mat dot new we can now pass in a string for example and then we could say print math dot string save and we could run it there you go test string so if you want to extend your custom class let's go back here let's delete this and let's delete this as well and say pass here you could come here so this is currently extending the node class to tell it to extend your test mat class so test mat. and then since we're already attaching this node this script to the node we need to actually extend the uh, node here so extend node I save that we can go back here and we could also check the print here again so let's put the same thing here we wanted to add so we could actually so save say on ready you want to add 30 and 50 that should be 80 so print and there you go hey so in summary this script extends this script 
and this script extends the node class. So that allows us to add our own functionality here and in this script we use the onready function that comes from the node class itself. Alright guys, that should be it for this video. Like and subscribe. Have a go.